This is episode 163. Are your landing pages not converting? Are you frustrated because you did all that work to build the landing page and at the end of the day, you have nothing to show for it? Imagine if you could do two things to your landing page that would instantly skyrocket your conversions. In today's episode, I will teach you two things that I learned that helps improve your landing page conversion rate. So with that said, let's get started. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. All right, so when it comes to lead generation and uh, getting leads, getting sales, when it comes to making money online, everyone needs to have a landing page. And in my previous episodes, I did go pretty deep in creating a lead generation campaign. And part of the campaign is creating landing pages. But many times when you launch a landing page, sometimes it doesn't convert as well as you would like. The conversion rate is probably low than lower than what you would expect. The lead amount, the number of leads that you're getting is probably lower than you would expect and you need to make some changes. Now, there are a million and one changes that you could potentially make to a landing page. And it it could get pretty confusing because you don't know exactly what to change. You don't know exactly what the issue is that is preventing you from higher conversions. But I've learned there are two key things that you need to keep in mind when it comes to landing pages. Um, I learned these two things from the One Funnel Away Challenge I took last year, and I just wanted to share these two things with you because it gives you a lot of clarity and it gives you some guidance in terms of what you need to focus on when it comes to improving your landing page. So the first thing is simplicity. So a lot of people often add a lot of bells and whistles to their page to kind of make it super fancy to impress their potential customers. But these types of like crazy like images or a lot of different images actually confuse people. And when they're confused, they don't opt in. They will not opt in if they don't know what the offer is about. They don't, they won't take action if they are confused. So you want to make sure your landing page is simple. A few things that I've noticed in terms of crazy landing pages are the multiple offers. I always see sometimes people have multiple offers that they are promoting on on their landing page, uh, multiple ways to connect with them. So I always see you know a contact form, an email address, a phone number, uh, Facebook Messenger. So just all these different ways where the lead could contact them when in fact, all they need to do is fill out the form. I've also seen landing pages with different angles in terms of the messaging. So messaging is really important and you want to make sure you focus on one type of messaging throughout the landing page and not talk about all these different things. Usually a landing page would focus maybe on one pain point and really drive that one pain point home and have the lead understand that whatever opt-in, whatever freebie the landing page is promoting, that it helps solve that pain point. But some landing pages, they talk about this thing and that thing, and they just go around in circles and in circles without really focusing on one thing. So make sure your landing pages are designed simply and the messaging is simple as well. All right, so that was that's the first thing that you need to focus on. Now, before I tell you the second one, um, I wanna take a few seconds to invite you to leave me a review. Um, leave, leave a review on uh, about this podcast, whether you like it or not, 
feedback is really important to me. So go to ratethispodcast.com forward slash the calm marketer. That's ratethispodcast.com forward slash the calm marketer. All right. So going to the second way to improve your landing page conversions is curiosity. All right. So this all boils down to the copy. Copy is probably the most important thing that you need to focus on when it comes to improving your landing page performance. So this might seem weird, but the copy of your landing page, it shouldn't explain exactly what people are going to get if they sign up. So let me explain that. So instead of um, instead of explaining exactly what this ebook, for example, is going to give you, you need to give away just enough to pique the person's curiosity so that they would feel compelled to learn more and to opt in, right? So pique people's interest, make people curious. How do you do this? You need to focus on the headline. The headline is what really piques people's interest and draws people in. It makes them want to read your landing page. And it also makes them want to opt in for that freebie, right? So ask questions, create open loops, right? So create open loops, create sentences that don't answer, that don't give the answer. So create curiosity, make people want to find the answer to the question that you pose, make people want to find the answer to the problems and the answer will be in your freebie, right? So build that curiosity because the human brain is wired to answer questions. So if you pose a question, the brain is looking for an answer. So make sure that you are building that curiosity so that people can opt in to get the answer to something, All right? So really focus and make it really juicy. Make make it curious, add keywords in, add phrases that add that curiosity as well, all right? So those are the two things that you can do to help you focus on what you need to do to improve your landing page conversions. Now, if you wanna learn more about this topic, um, join me, um, I did this. Check out the One Funnel Away Challenge. Um, you'll learn about all of these things on how to improve your landing page. Um, you'll learn how to generate unlimited leads through landing pages, how to build your first lead magnet, how to build your first sales funnel that you would use to offer the lead magnet. Um, they also go deep into email marketing and they'll help you launch your first funnel all within 30 days. I took this and I basically everything that I'm telling you is what I learned from this One Funnel Away challenge. So don't hesitate, uh, sign up, go to the calmmarketer.co forward slash OFA, the calmmarketer.co forward slash OFA. All right. So with that said, hopefully you thought this was helpful. I will speak to you on the next one.